what's up? So we're going to be doing a mobilize, mobilization drill that will work on targeting the muscles of your hips and your lower body, but also the extenders of your back and work on a little bit of shoulder flexion, which is always a good thing for our lifestyle. All right, so what I want you to do here is to, there's two parts to it. One is a hip hinge pattern, and then you're dropping into your squat pattern with reach, all right? So we gotta take a look at certain things, make sure that uh, you're, you're on point and you're set up for success. So you want a base that is comfortable for you, hip width or shoulder width apart. You wanna make sure that your ankles are pushed out, your knees are pushed out so that you're not pronating on the way down. That's an exaggerated version, but you wanna pay attention to foot activation. So with a good base here, what I'll have you do is to hinge back through the hips and grab your, your ankles with your feet. So in this position here, I'm actually rotating my hips back and I'm straightening out my knees as much as I can to maintain a parallel position with my upper body, high glutes, so that I can feel that stretch through the hamstring, but I have a flat back and I'm not hyperextended or cranking with the neck. Now from here, I'm gonna drop into my squat pattern, trying to get full shoulder flexion, making sure that my neck is in alignment with the rest of my spine. And then I head back into my hinge pattern for the stretch with the hamstrings. I drop back down here, going deep into the hips, activating the muscles of my lower body, and raising my hands up as high as I can for shoulder flexion and getting that huge stretch throughout my, my back, my thoracic region, and my shoulders.